Good morning, everybody. My name is Apollo, and welcome back to Undertale. I need to turn it down slightly. It's a very loud game. Alright, so, we're picking up right here. So, we're back in Toriel's house, and... Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to go talk to Toriel, and I have to be like, Hey, when can I leave? Because, like, I think last episode we tried getting through here. I don't recall if I did or not. Yeah. So, basically, I tried recording, but prior to this. So, like, I know, like, these little parts right here. But I don't recall whether or not I did it last time I was actually on here. So. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 1772 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? How to leave. I have to do something. Stay here. What are you doing, goat mom? You wish to know to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now, be a good child and go upstairs. I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that? Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am the- I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. No, I gotta fight Goat Mom. Toriel blocks the way? You can't think of any conversational topics. Ah, 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 ha, ah, ah. ha! Ah, oh my! Oh my god. Talk. You try to think of something to say again, but. Uh, what if I check? Uh, we'll try talking one more time, but I think I might need a checker. I'm gonna check her. Toriel, attack 80, defense 80. Knows best for you. Oh my goodness. You drink the spider cider. Your HP was maxed out. I'm gonna get better at that, I hope. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution for this situation. Toriel prepares to attack. Ironically, talking does not be seem to be the solution for the situation. I'm not gonna attack you, Mom. Ah! Ah! Ow! Okay, sparing her is the solution. Ow. Okay, how is it I never get hit with the two hands, but it's one hand and I get hit? Toriel is acting aloof. Keep my spider donut. You recover 12 HP. Good.
Ah, damn it. What are you doing? Ow. Attack or run away? What are you proving this way? I'm not gonna hurt you, goat mom. I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> Fight me or leave. Turn prepares a magical attack. Spare. Stop it! Ah, shise! Shise! <laughs> you ate the spider donut. You're covered to all HP. Mercy. Okay, spare. Stop looking at me that way. Mercy, spare. Go away! Okay, come on. Come on! No, 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 no. Mercy, spare. Yep, so now she's not gonna try to attack me. I know you want to go home, but. But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. Ironically, talking does not seem to be a situation. I just wanted to see... I know we don't have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Oh, I feel bad. Go, Malo, sorry. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Mm, no, go mom! I love you! Goodbye, my child. No! Go mom! Go mom! Go mom, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Bob. No. Oh, I feel so bad. Go, Bob. Go, Mom. Where's Where's my mom? Where's me madre? Seems like the right size for Toriel. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for to eat it. No, she's gone. Let's go check Toriel's bedroom just real quick. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage? No, I already did that. Alright, guys. Let's start our adventure. I'm gonna go outside and heal real quick, though. There we go. Now I'm healed. I had to use, like, all my spider donuts. Hopefully, I will get better at this game. Really hoping I will. Otherwise, this is going to be a short series. Beep. 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 I don't like how silent it is. Uh, Toriel will pick up the phone now. Oh, I miss you, Bob. Wow, this is a really long hallway. Just a silent long... Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, 
It's kill or be killed. So, you were able to play by your own rules? You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anyone this time. But what will you do if you meet a ruthless killer? Relentless killer. You'll die. You'll die and you'll die. Until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I'm the prince of this world's future. Don't worry. My p my little monarch, my plan isn't re genocide. It's so much more interesting. Mm, nope. Oh, that's bad. Nope. Go, mom. All right. So our adventure begins. Undertale, trademark, by Toby Fox. Thank you, Toby Fox. You are truly an amazing creator. This game is phenomenal. And it's like, it's just something you never would see. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. I like this music. Hey! That's a stick. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Yeah, but I bet if I step over it, it cracks. Never mind, it just cracked itself. Okay. Mmm. It's been so long since I've actually, like, seen someone play this game. So, like, I truly have. Like, I have an idea of what's going to happen, but it's so faint that I barely even, like, know what's actually going to happen. If you guys understand what I'm saying. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Meet Sans, everyone. Ah, I love him. Hey, the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyway. You're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on the watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anyone. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro. You know, sup, bro. It's been eight days and you still haven't recuper recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't want time. I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask me to be my friend. I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Oh. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit a... Bone doggle? You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I got a ton of work done today. 
A skeleton. <laughs> Set. <coughs> okay, these voices are gonna be killer on my voice for a little bit because I just need to get into the ro the the movement. Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Duh. Why does someone as great as myself have to do so much just to get recognized? Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more work backbone into it. <laughs> oh, I love these guys so much. Okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I would not be opposed to that stance. It's some sort of checkpoint. Or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. <laughs> What's the hold up? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well... You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Bye, Sans! Actually, hey. Hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry. He's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. He went backwards to go forward. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. I am already like an hour into this game. That is crazy. <laughs> you see a box? Yeah. Ooh, wait. There's a tough glove. All right. Uh, X. Uh, info. Tough glove. Weapon at five. A worn. Pink leathered glove for five fingered folk. No, no. Uh. Info. Toy knife. Weapon at three. Made of plastic. Uh, rarity nowadays. Alright, um. I'm not gonna attack anyone, but I'm just gonna equip the glove, just because. Did that re remove my bandant? No, it didn't. Okay, cool. Alright, use the box. Yep. Um, don't need that. And... Why do I have a stick? Stick. Weapon at zero. It's spark. It's worth some of its bite. Snow Drake, flutters forth. Laugh? You laugh to Snow Drake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Make a joke? You make a bad ice pun. Heh <laughs> nice try. Oh jeez. Ah, ah! Snowdrake is smiling at its own bad jokes. Okay. Snowdrake, um... Laugh? You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? So, Snowdrake is... He, he's a failing comedian, basically. He wants to become a comedian, but he's bad at jokes. So... Snowdrake, attack seven. It's teen comic fights to keep a competitive audience. Ice puns are no problem. So basically, I need him to tell a joke, and then I can be like, laugh at the joke. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Uh... There we go. Alright. Actually, no. Do I still have that stick in my inventory? I do. You ate the monster kick. Didn't mean to do that.
Also, I don't want to eat the butterscotch pie, because I can use that for a fight later down the road. That will make it easier, too, I think. Or so I've heard. It's a fishing rod, affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah. All that's attached to the end of the photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. You send the line back out. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Literally. So, as I was saying about undying. <laughs> They're just continuing to go back and forth. Sans? Oh my god! That's... A human! Oh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? <gasps> oh my god! It's... <coughs> is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! <coughs> oh, give me a second. Okay, I'm sorry. My, that voice is like really killer on my throat, but like... It matches his caliber perfectly. So like... I just gotta get used to it. I just have a water by me now, though. Alright. Sans! I finally did it! Undying Will? I'm gonna... <coughs> I'll be so... Popular, popular, popular! Ahem. Ahem. <coughs> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, you will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Get it? Because he's a skeleton and he can't really keep an eye on me. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observed the well-crafted center station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was a very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. I wonder if Papyrus built that. Ice Cap struts into view. Um, compliment his hat. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Alright, you douche. Okay. Comes at. Okay, um. Ignore him. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Ice Cap is secretly checking to see if you're looking at his hat. Ignore it. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine. I don't care. There we go. So, Ice Cap don't care about their cap. Good to know. Absolutely no moving. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'd make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks away. No, 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 no. I almost hit a fight. Act. Doggo. Um, check. Doggo. Attack 13. Defense 7. Easily excited by movable. By movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Doggo can't seem to find anything. So when it's blue, you can't move. That's the thing. You pet Doggo. What? I'm a pet! I'm a pet! Doggo is my pet. Cool, I can spare him. 30 gold. S -s Someone pet me. Someone that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anyone there? No? 
Someone's been smoking dog treats. That's one way to do it. Hey, beer is something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? Whenever we're fighting, think about blue stop signs. In yellow text. North, ice. South, ice. West, ice. East, snow in town. And ice. <laughs> oh, I love that comedy. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, Traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it with you far away. Yes, thank you, good luck. You got the snowman piece. I could probably, I can take more of him, but that's just, you know, terrifying. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, ho, oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electric maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, the orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun, because the amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Sans! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Huh, I wonder how I get through this maze. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Ooh, ow. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily, too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am! Nahaha! <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made it out of a few weeks ago, for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Sure he is. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer? Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Yeah, I got a lot of gold. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. Eh. Okay, come on. Into the hole. Green, your concern and care for ball led you to this delicious victory. You were awarded one gold. Nice. What if I do it again? Yes, yes, I see Sans. I, I, I do have to go to Sans, but like... I want to get the ball in the hole. Okay, this is going way worse than it did originally. Okay, push, down, yes, 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 yes. Push down. Push down. Down. For the love of Jesus. Purple. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You ordered two gold. I truly wonder how many times I can do that. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow depakijan. So it's a snowball that has 20 sides. There's a camera hidden in this lump of snow. 
What's up with the cameras? A little bit creepy. Alright, I'm done with the ball, though. <laughs> I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. Sure. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Sure. Really? How about 5,000 gold? Bye. 50,000 gold. That's my final offer. Bye. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. Oh, I love you so much, Sans. Smell danger rating. Snow smell sewn in white rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy all costs. His. Hers. Okay. Alright, there's gotta be a save point somewhere soon. Human! I hope you're ready for... Sans! Where's your puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kid Word Search. Well, hey kids! Can you help me solve this puzzle? Fall. Um... Well, I see monster. Monster's right there in the middle. Um... They're... Snorlkins? Alright. Okay. Sans! That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hottest. What? Really, dude? That's easy peasy word scrumble. That's for baby bones. Uh, unbelievable! Human, solve that dispute. Which is harder? Jumble, crossword. The jumble, obviously. Gotta, like, I'm on Papyrus' side. Even though I love Sans way more. Ha ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent. And they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Nyah he he he! Thanks for saying, Junior Jumble. Just to peace, my brother. This one he got some trying to solve the horoscope. Oh, here we are. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it, that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly trapped again by the great Papyrus. Nyah ha ha, Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. <laughs> Alright. Knowing the might, the mouse one day might find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Save. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys like this, you know, like it. Subscribe to see the rest of these videos, because I'm going to do the entire series, because I am already in love with this game. Because this game is so fun, and I just love it. And, either way, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Bye!